instead of taping like a soldier. Uh, like, tell me what I gotta do to make you mine for a lifetime. Hi guys, it's Moses here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and giving you guys like my, my first impressions of the new ColourPop Supernova eyeshadows and the ColourPop You Had Me at Hello eyeshadow palette. So let's get started. So we'll start with the palette first. Um, this palette was on ColourPop's website for $18. Here's what the package looks like. The packaging, excuse me, looks like. And then the back, all the color names and whatnot. And we take it out. Here is the packaging of it. It's that matte packaging, and I really do not like the matte packaging. I prefer the like m like the laminated feel of the I think I love you palette. I like this packaging because my other two get dirty like it's already dirty and I've only used it once but here's what it looks like and then here's the back of it and when you open it up here are the colors this is the first ColourPop eyeshadow palette that came with a mirror and it was so much easier to do my makeup on and I think that's why um, it went up two dollars for the mirror which I do not mind paying for it's still really really affordable so um, it came with the mirror I'm not trying, trying I'm trying not to blind you guys but here's a palette I'm going to swatch all the colors for you guys really quick here are the swatches of the I uh, color pop I think I'll, I mean <laughs> the color pop you had me on hello palette now when I swatch this palette I feel like the colors are way more pigmented um, and beautiful um, they feel really soft. The mattes kind of feel a little, kind of a little dry, but that's not a big deal to me. Um, so for today, I did an eye look with this palette, and um, my first impressions of it was I I started off by using the color um, D2R. I used that in my crease. I used the color uh, Sparks Fly um, as well, and I ended up going in with this color, this purple color Look See, and I felt like all those colors kind of blended into nothing. It gave me this really like muddy kind of a look. It just looks really gross, and you guys will see what I'm talking about. Like it, it, it looks like my eye shadow looks freaking terrible. This is the only palette that I'm having issue with. Let me make that a little bit darker. I just want this to be really, really dark. Like really, really dark. Okay. And then the same on the other side. Just bringing it up. Over. Over, it looks really muddy. I don't know how to describe it. Um, this is my first time playing with it, first impressions of it. The purple blended into nothing. This, that purple blended into nothing for me, this blended into nothing. Only color that I can really see on my eye is this brown shade, and that is it. The eyeshadows are not that pigmented. Maybe it was the concealer I used, maybe it was the brush. Like I said, this was just a first impressions. Um, I will try it out again with other products and 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 other things like that, but it kind of blended into nothing. When, like I said, I'm saying the same thing over and over. It just blends into nothing, and that was the issue I had with this palette. That they just weren't doing it for me compared to the Yes Please and the um, I Think I Love You palette. Those are really really pigmented, and they don't blend into this muddy, dirty color at all. So, so far, like first impressions of it, I'm not impressed by this one. It doesn't do anything for me. Um, I will eventually test it out with more colors. I mean, test more colors out, use it on different products and with different products and stuff like that. So maybe I'll end up liking this, but as of right now, I'm not feeling it. So next, we're going to get into something that I'm really excited about. The ColourPop Supernova Shadows, <laughs> that's what they're called. Here's what they look like. The three that I have. I copy colors um, Hard to Impress, Firecracker, and Dragon. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I absolutely love these on my lid. I'm really into shimmers. I love a good shimmer on my eyelid. I wear shimmers every day. Um, and this one is just doing it for me. It is giving me like super cut crease, metallic like feels like vibes and I am so here for it. I have the color firecracker on my lid today so I went in with the color firecracker first let me swatch that for you guys really really quick um, firecracker up close oh and here's the applicator that it comes with this flat kind of situation I should right here okay that's how it looks and then the back I'll do that 
like it is so pretty and on my lid it looks beautiful so I went in with this first um, I went in with the applicator that it came with first on my lid and it was really really pigmented it was beautiful um, no problem going on um, it when I placed it down it sat there and I do appreciate that and then next I went with a flat type of brush that I would like use to put a shimmer on um, a normal shimmer and I went in there I kind of sweeped it um, the brush with the applicator put it on my eyelid I found that it wasn't that pigmented with the brush then just to go in with um, the applicator that it came with so I went back in and used the applicator and I absolutely love it um, this is how it looks on my lid right now and I also used it on my lower lash line because I was like why not I do find that on the lower lash line I didn't make it as pigmented as I should I kind of really did I used the same brush and kind of sweeped it down there I didn't use the applicator because I didn't want it to be like too crazy the next color I have is dragon this is dragon up close If I didn't say it already, these were $7 each off ColourPop's website. And they're the same size as the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. If anybody cares. Here's the color um, Dragon. This one. I find that this one's a little, like, patchy. Um, not really. It's just, um, as you put it on your eye and then you try to do another layer, it kind of gets, it kind of moves. Um, and what I would suggest to do is to put the first layer down and um, once that dries go back in and add another layer if you want to you don't really need a second layer but if you want to go in with another layer, another layer you can and the last color that I have is hard to impress what hard to impress looks like up close Okay. and then the back So every review I've seen, they say that they these compare to the Stila, whatever they're called. Um, I don't have that, so I don't know. Um, and I really wanted those back when, like, I think Jackie Ina was talking about them. I wanted it, but I didn't want to pay for it um, at that time. But these were $7, and I think those are $23. And I only got three because I didn't know if I was going to like these. They're brand new. They're, like, they're new to me. And they're new to ColourPop. So I didn't know if I was going to like these. And only got three to test out and I will be getting more hopefully ColourPop has a Black Friday sale I'm picking these the other two up I hope they come up with more colors I absolutely love these these are amazing just the eyeshadow that I use is a little bit more pigmented because it looks really bad but the uh, the supernova shadows save the day it is pretty extra um I don't think I would wear this on a daily because it's like it's, it's it's pigmented you know compared to a regular shimmer it's kind of more subtle but it's give you that glittery look it does not transfer at all it just stays there where I placed it and it looks so great I did let it dry I looked down it look up and it dried pretty quickly it does not like nothing comes off you on your fingers it is a great product I did see that one of them were really really patchy so I might not get that one, but I will get the other one, which is Moonlight. Um, I'm going to get that one in my next ColourPop purchase. Because they will come out with something again pretty soon. They'll be out with a new palette in like a week, I promise you. And after purchasing these, I'm really happy that I did not get the ColourPop um, Golden State of Mine. I'm so glad I didn't get those because I would have not used their shimmers. ColourPop shimmers are nice, but they're extremely flaky. Like, if you ever had a ColourPop eyeshadow palette, you know what I mean? They, like, are just really, really flaky. I can't describe it. After you even swatch them, they kind of, like, crumble a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I'm so glad I didn't get that palette. And I'm so glad that I got these. I feel like I like these way more than the ColourPop um, shimmers. $7. You can't beat that. I'm wearing on my lid right now. It speaks for itself. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Okay, this is really flaky. Like, if I am just took my lashes off and it's like flaking up and you can literally dust it away like that. Yeah. If you brush it, if you don't, if you just leave it alone, it's fine. But if you try to like go back and blend your eyeshadow, it will flake and fall off everywhere. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's flaky. Oh, wow. 
So if you need to go back and do your eyes again, it's not gonna stay there. Just a heads up. Woo! Called DTR in my, um, uh, uh, DTR. <laughs> what? I look, I did it. Wow, I cannot talk. Now let's get into something. Wow, I cannot talk. I'm starting into like, spoke my word. I did, ugh.